Hello and welcome to this video on the Acid Rain Technology Chainsaw, a 4HP 21 oscillator, lovely stereo thing. Let's check out what's to come. So I'm going to quote the website here and thank you for Acid Rain Technology for sponsoring this video. I'll say that right off the bat for clarity. Chainsaw is a powerful digital oscillator designed to bring polyphony to your rack in a compact and playable interface. We were inspired by the Super Saw, the mainstay of electronic music production and a waveform rich with harmonics for filters and effects to chew on. Chainsaw features three voices of seven waves with individual pitch control per voice. All waves morph from super saw to super square for giant hollow bass lines and more. So working top down on the panel, we have tuning. This moves in semitones, which is super handy. It's an encoder that we can feel click. But when we press it, it moves over to fine control mode. Super simple, but a really nice elegant way of doing coarse semitone jumps or fine tune jumps and tuning as well. Second knob down is the detune, which is addressable via CV. Third knob down blends from saw to square, again addressable via CV. We then have the three 1 volt proctive inputs, so seven voices per 1 volt proctive in. They normalize down, so one single volt proctive will control all three until you plug any more cables in. Handy if you just want one big 21 oscillator swarm or three separate voices. These do mix down into a left and right stereo output, and of course you process that how you wish. It's super simple, it doesn't need any explanation really, but I've put a timing index on screen, should you wish to skip around, because I'm just going to get into making a load of patches, which I've been enjoying just making music with this thing. Let's get stuck in. So here's a quick exploration of the basic sound of Chainsaw. Single volt proctive sequence that's just looping round and round, stereo output into two VCAs panned hard left and right, and the same envelope controlling both VCAs. I'm going to keep doing this through this video just to give this a bit of dynamic movement, as opposed to letting things just drone endlessly. Here's the detune, we're listening to it fully saw wave in terms of blending across those waves. So that's a basic sound of Chainsaw, the detune, the waveform blending, stereo outs into two VCAs. So here I have three 1V proctive sources giving me a root, third and seven chord tone. I've missed out the fifth, gone for that open jazz harmony vibe with the stacked three note chords. Chainsaw has been slowly modulated, just slightly into being detuned, and it's a blend of saw and square. Got some drums in the background. The pads, the actual chords from Chainsaw, are going into a VCA where I'm using offsets and inverted envelopes to sidechain them against the kick. And I have a flanger. I'll bypass the flanger, bring back in the drums. That's chainsaw dry other than this ducking through the VCAs. If 
flanger back on. And that's just some nice stacked chords from Chainsaw. So here's a really simple patch. There's not a lot to see module wise. A single chainsaw output is going into a filter, bandpass filter, and I'm using three separate Vault Proctive ins from the Harmony, giving me root third and fifth generated around the CV that I'm playing out of the key step. There's the LFO modulating the filter and an envelope generated by my key presses. Effects will come from the E520 prototype in a minute, I'll play around dry first, or at least dry through that filter. Some effects. Here's my deep space detune. Really just a low pitch and a slow move of the detune knob. This sounds glorious, so I wanted to make sure you heard that over time, where we travel into a deep space of detune, whatever that even means. So with Chainsaw Stereo Output, I thought I'd push this idea of a stereo image a little bit further and have some fun. The two stereo outputs are what's creating this Lissajou curve on data, if you're curious, and then that feeds two separate filters. The Spice VCF had panned left. And the System 700 had panned right. These have individual envelopes and separate looping envelopes modulating them, fairly subtle, and I've got separate LFOs to the detune amount and the blend between the square and the saw. Now removing my effects, I'll open the filters. The sound of chainsaw, as you'd expect. But different filters help create more of an image as they're separately tonally shifted and modulated on each side. Adding some effects back in, which for those curious, sound like this. Delay reverb shimmer. But there's one other trick with this patch, as I'm only using a single Vault Per Octave source for all three inputs, I can plug the navigator into the bottom one. Now this just cancels out the Vault Proctive normalising from above, but there's no actual signal on this cable I've plugged in yet. I have a 1 volt source, which will shift an octave for 1 volt per octave, when I turn that up on Navigator. Meaning I can start to get some different chord tones in there. I figured this video didn't have enough techno, and detuning this fully just gives us this really nice harsh dissonance. This is going through a VCA with a tight but swung envelope. I can play around with envelope times on Navigator. And make some nasty techno.
So here I've tried to turn chainsaw into some kind of noisy clap percussion thing. If I mute the rest of my beat, this is chainsaw into two VCAs because I'm taking the stereo out. Same envelope to control both VCAs, hard left and right, stereo percussion sound. Now this is largely achieved by having detune up full and tuning it right down. It's a bit of modulation which we'll come back to. If I tune this up, simple note, tune this down, we could try FM, which could work really well too, let's try that against the beat. So here's a very simple sequence into chainsaw, stereo output into two ins on the data to do these lissadue curves which shows the difference between those left and right outs. This feeds two VCAs with the same envelope, purely just to give me a little bit of dynamic movement in the patch rather than simple droning waveforms. Now a simple technique that a lot of us overlook in modular I think is just working in octaves. It's a very simple musical compositional technique to reinforce your lines playing in octaves. This sequence, as we know, normals down across all three inputs. I have the same quantized sequence being split into a T43 from VPME, which is a great little transposition tool. So here's a version that is the same sequence an octave higher. And let's get one set of those voices up an octave. just reinforces it, really easy to do on Chainsaw, splitting this sequence and transposing it. Now usually we play around with FM in terms of audio rate FM, FM synthesis, with simpler, purer waveforms. FMing square waves on anything is always pretty noisy, pretty destructive and pretty full on because they're already rich waveforms. But why not try it? I have a triangle VCO, which is tracking the same sequence as Chainsaw. Chainsaw is going through a VCA that has an envelope that's modulated. You can hear it's a little bit choppy. Some longer notes, some shorter notes. But my FM goes through Navigator, so I can simply have an FM depth control right there on this slider, and then go straight into the FM on Chainsaw. some nice glitchy noisy FM, it's a really characterful thing. With the depth foot full, let's play around with tuning. It makes it a really quirky kind of noise oscillator. What a lovely sound, if I do say so myself. This is the pitch CV out of the Cherry Key Step. Into the Instro Harmony, giving me root third and seventh proper diatonic harmony. Into the three Volt Proctive Ins on Chainsaw, they come out into two different filters. And then that feeds the E520 prototype 100% wet. Let's bypass it so you can hear this properly. A nice little noise trail there, which is a Bafaco crush delay. You can hear it there. I'm using the mod out on the key step into Navigator just to attenuate the detune modulation that I've got on this mod slider. It 
it just sounds great. Of course, there's the two filters and the E520 and everything else going on, but it's a hell of a lot of sound with these three groups of seven oscillators, all in detune unison. All in 4HP from Chainsaw. What a lovely little thing. Support my work on patreon.com forward slash divkid. Leave some comments, be great to touch you there. Like, subscribe, all the usual stuff. I'll see you next time. I'm just going to keep playing for a second. Bye. Bye.